So, hello everyone. Uh, uh, John here. Well, we have it uh, in, in this video, we are going to do a problem on um, trigonometry. And the problem says that uh, if, uh, let me see where I am. If cos theta, sorry, if So, if um, if cos theta is equal to um, two by five, and um, a zero is less than theta, less than uh, pi by two, then um, find the other five trigonometric uh, functions of theta so basically you have cos theta so now you here you're asked to find uh, uh, sine theta um, tan theta cosecant theta secant theta and cot theta so what we need here is uh, what's sine theta cos we already have tan theta uh, cot theta and uh, cosecant theta uh, secant theta and uh, cot theta So you're, you're, you need to basically find all of these values over here. And, um, and the way you can think about this is that uh, you already have cos theta. And um, you know that theta is between 0 and pi by 2. So it is basically a right triangle. It means that it is in the first quadrant if if it's in the first quadrant basically it means that um if this is the your coordinate system and uh well here you have uh, zero to basically pi by two and here you have pi and here you have 3 pi by 2 and here you have 2 pi so uh, you, you have been given that theta is is between 0 and pi by 2 so 0 and 0 and pi by 2 is right here so your angle is uh, let's say some angle like this If it's an angle like this, then you can basically use uh, um, basically um, you can create a triangle right here, and the triangle is a right triangle, and then you can calculate the other uh, the the three sides of the triangle, and then you can calculate the other ratios, trigonometric ratios. Now, the, the way to do that, the way you can think about this, you can think about this as uh, you have been given cos theta is equal to 2 divided by 5. Well, we said that cos theta is always, um, um, if this is theta, so we said that cos theta is always the adjacent side 
which is this side, divided by the hypotenuse. So it's always x divided by r. So based on this, now I know that my uh, my x is equal to 2 and my r is equal to 5. And now based on this, you can basically find the other side of this triangle. I have the x value, which is this side of the, which is a base of the triangle. I have the r value, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle. And so because this is a right triangle, you can use the uh, the this uh, this relationship uh, over here. If you had a right triangle like this, if you call this A, if you call this B, if you call this C, then in any right triangle, you know that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. So if you basically do this, you can calculate your uh, your B, your this side of the triangle, and then you can find the other ratios. So based on this and based on this, you can here write, uh, here I'm going to call this X, I'm going to call this R, and I'm going to call this Y. So, based on this, I know that uh, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. What I don't have is y squared, so y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. And um, so y squared is equal to uh, r squared, which is 25 minus x squared which is 4 so y squared is equal to 21 and so y is equal to root 2 of 21 so now you have y you have um, x and you have r and then so you can calculate all of these values over here so let's start with sine theta. So sine theta is basically equal to y divided by r, which is root 21 uh, divided by r, which is um, 5. You can simplify this. You can write this as root uh, 2 into 10. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 you cannot simplify this any further. You cannot simplify this any, any further. So uh, basically, so so your sine theta was here. What uh, it's um, basically this is equal to root twenty one, root two of twenty one by five. Now let's find find out what tan theta is. So you can write tan theta as sine theta by cos theta, which is equal to root 21 by 5 divided by uh, 2 by 5, which is equal to basically um, root 21 by 2. So this is your tan theta. So this is equal to root 21 by 2. Now cot theta, um, 
cot theta is basically equal to you can write it as 1 divided by tan theta or you can write it as cos theta by sine theta which is basically the same thing this is the reciprocal of this here you have sine theta by cos theta um, here you have cos theta by sine theta so 1 divided by tan theta is basically reciprocal of um, is basically the reciprocal of cot theta which is basically tan theta so now cos theta is equal to um, um, 2 by 5 divided by sine theta which is uh, root 21 by 5 which is equal to 2 by root 21 So this is 2 divided by root 21. Now cosecant theta is equal to cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sine theta which is equal to uh, 5 by root 21. So this is equal to 5 divided by root 21. Now you have secant theta. Now secant theta is equal to uh, 1 by cos theta. Which is equal to uh, 5 by 2. So this is 5 divided by 2. Now cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta which is 2 by root 21 and there you have it 2 divided by root 21 now let's check here so sine theta is root 21 by 5 tan theta is root 21 by 2 cot theta is equal to 2 by root 21 cosecant theta is equal to 5 by root 21 secant theta is equal to 5 by 2 and cot theta is equal to 2 by root 21 uh, I have made a mistake over here oh, we have repeated this which is no problem so that's how you do this sort of problem. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.